Hello everyone, welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade, Bloodlines. Okay, I'm right back where I was before, tracking down this mysterious symbol, which I found on this, the Brotherhood Flyer. I am enlightened. It seems to be spray painted all over the place, and according to my quest log, Damsel, Damsel told you that the symbol on the flyer you found... Oh my god, I can't even talk. Let me try that again. Damsel has told you that the symbol on the flyer you found when you killed the second plague bearer is also on one of the buildings in town. So I'm going to track this thing down. Also, I noticed, when I was looking back over my quest log, that the Regent's Riddle... I don't think I noticed this before, but it says specifically, has invited you to his home in downtown Los Angeles. So this, um... This riddle here... Dark blood are a curse, a light, this verse. Such power I sense in one so young. Come find me where burns the mystical sun. That riddle does apply to here, downtown. So, let's, um... Let's track down the symbol. And keep in mind, the riddle. Hmm. Okay, this symbol kind of leads me down the alleyway, and there's a door. Should I go inside? Yeah, why not? Okay, well, I'm not in a combat zone, so I shouldn't need to sneak. Oh, uh... Hi? Uh, who are you? What is this place? It appears to be... One of the shittiest looking waiting rooms I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I think there might be five kinds of mold on your couch over there. And... And some other things that I don't even want to mention. So, um, who are you? What's up, sister? You enlightened? Ah... Okay, I guess I found their meeting place, hmm? Yes, give him the flyer. I see. Welcome to the Brotherhood. The Bishop will see you upstairs. The Bishop. Okay, there's a significant chance that I am going to get way over my head in this. And drown in punches to my face, I guess. To go further with the metaphor. They think I'm one of them, but I'm not. I need to I need to play my card I can't even talk again. Let's try that again. I need to play my cards carefully. All right, let's go. Ooh, this is dangerous. I'm playing with fire. I'm going to a, a meeting of a cult where everyone is batshit fucking crazy. I have met two of the plague bearers, two members of the ninth circle. One had his head split open, looked like an alien and had been eating people and spreading a sickness. And the other one was that woman, what was her name? Uh, I don't even remember her name. Something law. No, I can't remember her name. I think it started with a J or something. And she was also crazy and tried to kill me and was also spreading the disease. So I don't imagine the rest of the clan is going to be very uh, nice. And also, I can't help but notice that I'm in a combat zone. So that's suggestive. Um, hi. Why does it look like you're scared of me? Is everything all right? Hey, D did you get summoned? You're going upstairs to see the bishop. I, uh, I don't mean to be rude here, but I can't help but notice that your f head is significantly higher quality than the rest of your body. And the texture doesn't even blend at all where your neck is. You look very, very strange. Um... Summoned? You're new to the Brotherhood, huh? Just got enlightened? I... I've been here a few days. <laughs> when the bishop wants to see you, you'll be summoned. And then you go up these, um, these stairs up to the, the t temple. Okay, she seems like she's totally scared for her life and thinks she's about to die. What's going on here? Uh, the temple? What goes on up there? 
I don't know. I mean, I, I hear things, but but I haven't been summoned. I had a friend snuck up there a few days ago. She said she saw things, <laughs> bad, bad things. Yeah. Excuse me. I took a drink of my tea and it seems to have gone down the wrong way. <clears throat> okay, well... Yeah, I can't imagine... Anything the Brotherhood would do, anywhere in here, would be anything but horrible. They're probably cutting open bodies and, I don't know, feasting on their flesh and sleeping inside of carcasses or something, I don't know. Uh, what did... What did she see? Blood. She said, um, b -b blood everywhere. She, um, she saw a few of the summoned to try to, uh, oh, to talk to them, but they just, just stared at her with these, um... These woo blank looks, you know. One of them uh, started reaching for her, and she she ran away. <laughs> the first option. I'm sure you'll be summoned soon, and then you can join her. Okay, so she's obviously very afraid for her life, and she should be. You sound scared. Yeah, yeah. I know. The b -b bishop said. We have to shed our, um, our, uh, our earthly fears on our journey to the, to the Ninth Circle. But I'm, um, scared to go upstairs. I, I just, uh, I just, I just want to go home. You know, I want to go home. Well, I have something that will ease your pain. I guess I could just feed on her if I wanted to, but geez, that's a dick move. Okay, don't worry. You won't have to worry about the bishop anymore. Trust me. I'm gonna take care of this problem. Right here, right now. If not with my... S where is it? If not with my six persuasion skill, I'm going to do it with my knife and a good dose of presence. And maybe blood buff. Have to say, going upstairs in this game is a very unpleasant experience. Look at that. <laughs> uh, it could be uh, just a tad smoother, you know? Just, just a little bit. Hi. That looks like a zombie. What's what's here? Nothing. Uh, whoa! That is literally a fucking zombie. There, there's zombies just up here. What the? F uh, I guess it's time to fight. Um. Okay then. Good thing they're weak as hell. How come these zombies haven't... haven't just, like, wandered downstairs? I, I mean... There's nothing even keeping them up here. Why haven't they just wandered downstairs? Uh, uh, hi, I thought you were asleep. Okay, she just exploded. These zombies are no threat at all to me. Hold on, should I be killing- whoa. Should I be killing them though? What if I just skip them? Maybe I'm killing... the bishop's children. You know? I'm gonna see if I can avoid him. That might have been a bad idea. No, 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 it's fine. I'm doing fine. Eh, eh, coming through. There we go. Okay, uh, 
they even if they are the bishop's children and I'm gonna piss them off by doing this, I don't care because I'm gonna die if I don't. It's time to kill the bishop's children. Never thought I'd say that sentence in my life. I don't actually know if he really values these zom these zombies. It's just that It's just that uh, I think these are the summoned, which makes me think they might be important to him. <laughs> these physics are ridiculous. Whoa, brains, what the f uh Okay. I, I escaped the brains. Wow, holy shit. Ow. They can do some damage. A lot of damage. Actually, wait a minute, hold on. What about my gun? How much does this do? Oh my god, I can't believe my aim is that bad. Hold on, let's uh, try the shotgun. The sound, the sound effects for this thing are just horrible. Okay, it's not very effective. I mean, it works, but why even bother? This is just way better. The only advantage to the weapons is that I don't take any damage using them, but... Eh. If I fight smartly, I'm not really going to take any damage, frankly. I mean, look at, look at that. I just did like 140 damage. And put her into a very interesting uh, pose. And now she just disappeared. Okay. Sure, why not? Hmm. What's in here? Oh, this is where I've already... Yeah, this is where I've already been. Okay, I guess I could have stealthed my way through here. Yeah, something tells me the bishop is not going to be too happy. Didn't even see you there. <laughs> I love that move. If you hold down the uh, the back key when you attack, you do this like lunging attack. It's awesome. Ooh, I should be feeding on these rats, actually. Yeah, there we go. Definitely don't need to blood heal with these. Where's that other rat? There you are. Come back here. Mmm. Tastes nothing like chicken. Been here, been here, these doors don't open. Okay, continuing on our way. It's time to go down. I love going down. I guess I could stealth. No, they seem to know I'm here. There's an exclamation mark on my stealth meter, which means I think they know I'm here. Yeah. Okay. What's this way? More zombies! Surprise! And lunge! No, that's not a lunge. Try that again. There we go. Come here. Okay, I don't know what the hell I'm hearing, but it doesn't sound good. Well, that was terrible. Doing all the way down this hallway. Wait, I thought it was already here. I have not. I haven't been here before. Hmm. 
God, I'm glad there's no one here to see me eating these rats. Other than a bunch of zombies, which probably aren't going to tell any tales. Because it's kind of disgusting. I'm a dignified Toreador. <laughs> Freaking rat. Okay. Now let... Wait. Am I hearing another zombie? There's apparently one down there. Whatever, who cares? It'll take it 5 million years, 25 minutes, and 2 seconds to get to me. So, I'm good. Alright, now what's through these doors? Sounds like something nasty. Yep. Welcome, sister. I see you have been enlightened. Are you searching for something? Do you seek the truth? Well, you have come to the right place, sister. We've got more truth here than we can handle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, this is going to go well. Are you the leader of the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle? They call me Bishop Vic, Shepherd of the Damned, your midnight guide through our last days here on Earth. Do you feel it, sister? The curtain being drawn back at last, drawn back by my hand, by the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. Last days here on Earth. Are you talking about Gehenna? Gehenna? Judgment Day? <coughs> <coughs> the Apocalypse? Oh, again, sister. You are too indoctrinated into the antiquated beliefs of this material world. There is no rhyme or reason. No all-powerful and terrible gods who watch over their children. You talk of disease. What about the disease that you and I both carry? Our flesh remade into nothing more than an abomination, feeding on our brothers and sisters like so many cattle. What God watched over me when that demon tore into my neck and made me into this monster you see before you? No, sister. There is no God who would tolerate such a thing. And so I have become God. And the diseases I carry to the masses will bring about an end of my own making. Until we have all journeyed below into the Ninth Circle. I understand your feelings about being a vampire, but this is no way to deal with it. The time for words has come and gone, my sister. You and I will take those last steps together and see what truth lies behind the curtain. Let the night fall forever on this cursed earth and let the fruits of my labor bring a long and bloody harvest. Ah, oh, man. Is, is my persuasion skill just not good enough? Because, like, the, three, the past three people I've fought, the, the first plague bearer, the second plague bearer, and now him, this guy, in all those cases, I haven't seen a single special ability show up in the dialogue. Not presence, not persuasion, not seduction, nothing. So I'm wondering, is my persuasion just too low? Or can you just not do that? I mean, my persuasion is six. I think six is pretty damn high. <sighs> Hold on, maybe there's still a chance. Wait, I know we can work this out. Nope, apparently we can't. Oh god, what the hell? You do know bullets don't hurt me very much, but also I, I can't help but... Hold on, I can't help but notice that I'm being shot by a teleport... I'm being shot by a shotgun with a teleporting uh, preacher vampire monster with a horde of zombies for a crowd. I, I just have to note that fact because this is very strange. It's, this, this sort of thing doesn't happen to me very often. Yeah. Okay, um... Press, if, can I even get close to him? You do realize, realize bullets don't hurt me very much, right, Bishop Vic? Actually, they're hurting me quite a bit. More presents! And blood buff. Whoa, get back here! No, no, no! Get the fuck back here! Alright, celerity. Did you just try to kick down that door? What the hell was that? 
All right, um, blood heal. I don't even need to deal with these zombies. It doesn't even matter. Blood heal again. Presence. Celerity. So I can actually catch up to him. Get back here. I might die. In fact, there's a very good chance I'm going to die. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, right now, right now. Oh, fuck. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh, no. <laughs> I was so close. You've suffered final death. Mmm. Shit. Oh, this is gonna be hard. What else can I do? Presence is good. Celerity is good just to catch up with him, sort of. Can I put another point in a melee? I could put another point in a melee. You know, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, that'll give me some extra damage. Uh, let me just see how much damage that does give me, actually. I think last, last time it gave me two points. Uh, 14 damage potential. Put a point into it. Alright, so from 14 to 16. Okay. That's probably gonna make all the difference. And you, hold on, you know what? Let me go get some more blood. Let me go find some more rats. Before I go inside. I think I'm gonna need them. There you are. Yeah. Hmm, minty. Did you see the moves from that zombie? It just, like, stood up in about, a half, like, two milliseconds. Amazing. I need two more rats to get to full, I think. I wonder if I can feed on a zombie. Eh, I wouldn't want to. That's disgusting. Right, well... Eh, whatever, it's probably good enough. Between the extra point of blood and my upgraded damage, I think I should be fine. Hold on, actually, do I have something... Uh, can any of my abilities increase my persuasion? Scholarship and charisma. Mm, nope. Nope. Wits and perception. Wits does defense and hacking, and perception does ranged and inspection. No. None of that's gonna help me. Alright. Hold on. No, wrong key. There we go. Okay, aspects will increase... What, what does my wits do again? See, it's going to increase my defense, but what is... how good is defense, though? Avoid taking damage. I wonder if I should do that. Hell, should I just use everything, increase my damage, and increase my... Uh, debuff him, and increase my chance of dodging? I guess. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Are you the leader? Are you the leader of the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle? They call me bitch. Mm hmm. Let's let's go with a different option. Maybe I can do something different. Are you the one who's been spreading all this disease? <coughs> disease, sister. You've got to open your mind. One man's disease is another man's sanctity. Here among the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle, we have shared these earthly labels. Come. Partake of our divine communion. Oh, well, that doesn't really go anywhere. Okay, we're back to this. Gehenna. Same thing we did before, you so go through that. No. Mm -hmm. Let's go with a different option here. You've lost your mind, Vic. This is insanity. The time for words has come. And we're back to this. Okay, he's gonna shoot me. Bring it on, Vic. And blood buff. If this doesn't kill him, nothing will. 
on, come on, come on. I have so many buffs, I need to use them right now. Come on, come on, come on. Do as much damage as I can before they run out. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, no. Here we go, here we go. Ah, oh, there. Yes. I swear I just heard a reload sound, even though he's dead. <laughs> okay, um... Whoa, whoa, what's happening? Uh... Okay, it just teleported me back here. Why? Okay, as soon as you kill Bishop Vic, you lose the ability to ever enter there again. Interesting. Okay then, what happened to my quest log? You have killed Bishop Vic, the head of the Plague Bearer Doomsday Cult, thus ending their disease spreading religion. Report back to Damsel. I forgot to check to see if my cart was still above the, the last round sign. I bet it is. Oh, damsel. Sup. All the plague bearers are dead. Are you proud of me? You killed all of them? You. <laughs> so I guess you want me to thank you or something? Damn it. Thanks, okay? Well, cool for now, but just don't go bragging to everybody about it. Okay, I'll only brag a little bit. <laughs> the second option. You're not so bad either, damsel. Still a bitch, but in a good way. Kindred or kind. I just wanted to help the community. Righteous. You know, you just may have an anarch soul. I'll let you chew on that, Cammy. Some of the boys might have overheard our conversation and gotten the impression I've gone soft. Somebody in this joint's got a lack of restraint to keep their mouth shut. Ooh. The second option, it looks like I can join the Anarchs. Hmm. Or I can ask her to join me in the Camarilla. Which she would never do. Well, hold on. I, I don't know enough about LaCroix. Or the Anarchs to necessarily want to join them yet. So... Hmm. No, I'm gonna gather more information before I make such a move. Maybe. See ya, damsel. I need way more information than what I have now. I mean, I don't like LaCroix, obviously. Or the Camarilla, but that doesn't necessarily mean I want to join the Anarchs. Although I honestly am leaning towards them. I'm definitely leaning towards them, but... I'm not quite there yet. Okay. What to do now? Really, the only things left to do are either the Lucky Star Ho Motel thing, which I don't know where that is, or the Elizabeth Dane, or the Regent's Riddle. Where burns the mystical sun? I have the, f I have the strangest feeling that that's related to the club. The mystical sun. Dark blood. Our curse, I'll light this verse. What about that? It's a creepy looking building, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. I, I mean, I can't exactly connect it to this riddle. That doesn't look anything like a mystical sun or anything of the sort, but it's a strange looking building, so let's go inside of it. There's gotta be something of interest in here.
Ooh, look. This is an Elysium zone. Which means it's the house of a powerful vampire. No name. Alright, I believe, um... When you're in a zone like this, what's the only thing you can use? I think it's blood buff. Right? Yeah, I think it's blood buff for lockpicking. Whoa. Whoa. Weird particle effects. I'm scared. What? This is such a creepy place. Did I just go in a circle, or is that another door of the same type? Is this a maze? It's kind of like a maze. Hmm. It's a curious place. Thaumaturgical creatures. E. Bankins, Regent, Chicago. Gargoyles. During the medieval conflict with the... I don't even know how to pronounce that. Clan Tremere delved further into secret blood magics and created a race of protectors known as gargoyles. Since their inceptions... Since their inception, gargoyles have been used as scouts, warriors, and sentries. Gargoyles are monsters. Vampires, by virtue of the blood and flesh through which they are created. They are no more than the detritus of other clans, given a second chance to serve the Tremere creators. Unfortunately, many have wrongly come to view their service as slavery, and have fled their masters in search of some delusional utopia. Most escaped, gargoyle, most escaped gargoyles live in isolation, preferring solitude to even the company of their own kind. Homunculi. For the most menial and mindless tasks, many Tremere create what is called a homunculus. These are mindless creatures, which take many forms, winged, many-legged, or otherwise. Homunculi are unfailingly loyal, but their appearance makes them a serious threat to breaking the masquerade. Huh. How interesting. Gargoyles. Were actually cr created by the Tremere. But more interesting than that is that they're not just unthinking beasts, but they actually have their own minds, and actually went off and started rebelling against their slavery. That, that is so cool. I'd like to know more about that. This place is seriously... Whoa. The, the layout just changed, didn't... I'm pretty sure that just changed. Hold on. Yes. Okay. Yep, it just changed again. Everything keeps leading to this door. Okay. Shall we go inside? Why, hello. M. Strauss, the Tremere Regent. It's a lovely place you have here. Totally not creepy at all. Nope. You. You were up above. When we were in the theater, or whatever that place was, where I was about to be killed. I remember someone blew a kiss to you. In the introduction. Greetings, Neonate. Might I assume you received my invitation? I have been looking forward to meeting you for quite some time. Yeah, I got it. I'm assuming you are... Strauss. Maximilian Strauss. I am the regent of this chantry. Welcome. Uh, thanks. What exactly is a chantry? A chantry is a local gathering place for those of the Tremere clan. I live here as do apprentices from time to time. <laughs> I don't like any of these dialogue options. I'm new around here, Max. What's the word on the street? And cool, and you're a regent? What is that? Like, none of these dialogue options sound intelligent. Which is very strange because my character is supposed to be very intelligent and very well spoken. 
I guess I'll go with Cool and you're a regent? What is that? A regent is the leader of a chantry, as well as a teacher to young Tremere apprentices who are studying the mysteries of our clan. Can you tell me about the mysteries? I'm sorry, Neonate. The secrets of the Tremere clan are hidden from all but those who share our blood. You would do best not to look into them any further. <laughs> Everything he just said just makes me want to look into it further. Why are these dialogue dialogue options so sarcastic? Look at the second one. I've got a cruise. See ya. Is that really an appropriate thing to say to the regent of the Tremere clan? No. Okay, what can you tell me, Max? What's going on here in downtown? Let me give you some advice, young one. Your survival in kindred society will often depend on your ability to find out yourself what is going on around you. Remember that well. I appreciate the advice. As for what is going on here in downtown, the word on everyone's lips, kindred or kind, seems to be epidemic. <laughs> well, I think I just took care of that. But, uh, yeah, why? What's going on? It seems that disease has been spreading at an alarming rate throughout the downtown population. Considering our particular appetites, the local kindred are more than concerned about these developments. <laughs> what the fuck? The second dialogue option! Dude, that shit is whack! I can't believe these dialogue options. I want to do them so bad just to see what happens, but no! No! I'm not gonna say that. Interesting. Yes, indeed. My opinion is that the local Anarchs are responsible for these outbreaks. Their precipitous indulgence of certain passions often leads to such things. Ergo, their need for the watchful eye of the Camarilla. Okay. Well, I know not to trust him. He's a bit of a jackass. Because one, that's absurd, and two, I know it's false. It's called by the goddamn... It's caused... The plague is caused by the crazies of the Ninth Circle Brotherhood Enlightenment thing. You know, all those people I just killed. Interesting you should think that. I'm already looking into it for the Anarchs. I see. Most disappointing neonate. You seem to show a startling lack of concern when choosing your associates in this new life. I pray that their lawless proclivities do not ultimately affect your own standing among your other peers. Look, don't take this the wrong way, Strauss, but I don't like you. I'll take it under advisement, Max. A few more questions. What is it you would like to know? Tell me about the Camarilla. The Camarilla? It is merely a kindred sect that exists to protect its members from the outside world. There are specific codes of behavior that we abide by in order to ensure the continuance of our species. It is nothing more and nothing less. <laughs> I can start calling him on his... on the capes trying to impose control. But calling him on that would be exceptionally... It would be an exceptionally bad idea, so no. Again, in many other RPGs, I would do that just for the fun of it, but... In this game, you really need to act logically. If you do crazy stuff, bad things are going to happen to you. I see. Can I ask you a few more questions about the Camarilla? Surely. What else would you like to know? What do you think of Prince LaCroix? LaCroix is a prince, neonate, and a ventru on top of that. Even if he weren't as young and indiscriminate as he's already proven himself to be, I... But I say too much. Let us just say that he and I have differing ideas on the use of power. Oh, I can use my persuasion finally. It's all right. You can trust me. What is your true opinion of him? Hmm. Well... Without saying too much, I think that Sebastian LaCroix lacks the usual discretion necessary to be a prince. I see in him a lust for power that overshadows his responsibility to the Camarilla. 
He does seem to be the type. Really? Perhaps you think you can do a better job? <laughs> no, young one. I aspire not to such lowly heights. My only interests are those of my clan and the Camarilla. In that order? <laughs> you will do well in this new life, young one. That I can see already. I hope so. A few more questions about the Camarilla. Surely. What else would you like to know? Are all vampires a part of the Camarilla? No. There are many independent clans who are not aligned with the Camarilla. And the Sabbat is another sect of various vampire clans whose beliefs are very different than our own. Unsavory sorts, to say the least. I understand you have already run afoul of them. Yeah, good thing Nines Rodriguez was there to help me out. Ah, yes, the infamous Mr. Rodriguez. I understand you owe him your life twice now. Had he not intervened, the prince would have surely had that hound of his separate your head from your shoulders. You're probably right. In any case, it's a shame that Rodriguez cannot see the wisdom of the Camarilla. He would make a powerful ally. As it is, he is a significant thorn in the Croy's side, which serves my purposes just the same. Your purposes? Aren't your purposes and the princes the same? The Croy is a prince, neonate, and a ventrue on top of that. Even if he weren't as young and indiscriminate as he's already proven himself to be, I... But I say too much. Let us just say that he and I have differing ideas on the use of power. Okay, I appear to have looped back around at the same dialogue. Whoops, L let's just go through it again. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Um, why aren't the Anarchs in the Camarilla? The Anarchs feel that they don't need the structure and discipline of the Camarilla. I feel that they pose a threat, both to those loyal to the Camarilla and to themselves. Most are mere children and need our guidance. An interesting observation. I have a few more questions about the Camarilla. Surely. What else would you like to know? Actually, there was something else I needed. Of course. I have a few questions for you. What is it you would like to know? Let's talk about something of else. Of course. Okay, I just went through. I just went around, around, and around in a circle of conversational confusion. So, apparently I've basically exhausted everything there is to say. So, I'm out of here. See ya. That was, um, not as enlightening of a conversation as I thought it would be. I don't know, that uh, was such a haunting and creepy sort of invitation through a riddle. I was expecting something more epic. Why did he even want to see me? Alright, let's hope I can find the way out. Oh, oh great. Thank you. Stupid magic. Here we go. What's upstairs? It's locked. Okay. Let's see. Well, I, th I either need to find... Lucky Star Motel, or it's time to do the Elizabeth Dane. And to do the Elizabeth Dane, I need to go back to Santa Monica. And the Lucky Star Motel does not seem to exist here, so if it, uh, it might be in Santa Monica, so I just need to go to Santa Monica and see what's there. Let's go. Actually, hold on, how many points do I have? Four. Eh, I'm gonna keep saving them up. Need a ride? 
Yeah, just drive. I really don't remember a place called the Lucky Star Motel in Santa Monica, so I have a feeling it's on it's at a different location. But let's check. Yep, it's not here. Okay. To the Elizabeth Dane we go. Need to go to the beach to access it. I jumped over that because I'm a rebel. Walking around is for you plebs. I jump over things. Does someone want to have a chat with me? Hold on, let me save first. Hi. Oh. Oh, it's you! Dude, I Mercurio! You... Well, your guts aren't hanging out the front of your stomach, so that's a good sign. I thought for sure you were dead. Hey, hey. You, hey, what can I say? You preserved my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. Alright, cool. You look like you're feeling better. I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. Help close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that beating. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. I need some info. Oh, uh, by the way, I paid a visit to our friends on the cliff up there early this morning. ODing's a painful way to go, especially when your kneecaps are on the floor next to you. <laughs> what can I say? Payback can be a bitch like that. Damn. That's... <laughs> that's hardcore. Um... Definitely. Uh, what do you got that might help me out? That's- that's all you have? Dude, I thought you were gonna hook me up with some crazy shit. Just ammo for weapons that I don't even care about. Ah, <sighs> Really? Anything I can do for you tonight? I need some equipment. No, uh, yeah, it's the same thing. Alright, let's see if he has info. Anything I- Concerning? People. Who exactly? Yourself. What's to tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. I'd say it's my calling. Till the astrolite. Wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well, back east some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. Oh, he's actually already told me this. I just realized that. He's, he's already told me this. Other Who questions? Exactly? Prince LaCroix. Only seen him a few times. Way I understand it, the guy's untouchable. And I've never seen him without his muscle. That sheriff. Just so you understand, my loyalties are all but written in blood. So my opinion of the guy is moot. Right. I had some questions about somebody else. Who exactly? The Sabbat. Your typical bloodthirsty movie villain variety vampire. A few years back, I was on bodyguard duty for one of the old boys. Me, a couple of ghouls, and some young vampire types like you. The Sabbat hit us. Tried to pull a dine and dash. Just two of us walked away. And one was the elder. Hmm. I had some questions about something else. Concerning? Places. Specifically? Santa Monica. Santa Monica's quiet, mostly. That is, till you came to town. Not a lot of operators of police here, which is why I like it. Not a beach person, personally, but there are some beautiful sunsets. I guess you wouldn't be interested in that, though, would you? <laughs> Not really. Yeah. Um, other places. Specifically? Downtown. Downtown's a mess. Always has been. I get called down there sometimes. Nines' people, LaCroix' people, a lot of tension in the air. A lot of drugs and a lot of crime. 
Sometimes I offload extra inventory, but I avoid downtown when I can. Hmm. Has some questions about other things. Concerning weapons. Specifically? A tactical nuke. Only a lunatic would want that kind of ordinance. That's why they got him in Washington. Hmm. I was looking for some other weapons. Specifically? A flamethrower. Oh, yeah, I got a lot of requests for those. I blend the movies. Everybody thinks they're a riot till they set their friends on fire. <laughs> they're not very easy to get hold of. I got a Vegas connection for those. Last time I was out there, I had to shoot my way to the state line. Well, I wouldn't mind getting my hands on one. I was looking for some other weapons. Specifically? What a combat shotgun. What you want is a Spaz 15. I got a connection for those, but I haven't seen him in a while. I think he's in Mexico. As soon as he gets back, I'll have a few of them. Putting together a dragon's breath, too. Sort off. Spits WP rounds. Few nights work. Okay, cool. Good to know. I'll come back when you've got one. Thanks. Goodbye. Concerning. Whoops, I pressed the wrong one. There you go. Okay. There is my boat that I believe will take me out to the Elizabeth Dane. But uh, how are you doing? Evening. Just passing through, see ya. Okay, nothing new to say. How are you doing? Hi. I think I've already asked her this. How did it go with Eve? Life's been hard on him. Yeah, okay, she already, yeah. Good luck to both of you. Goodbye. Let me save first. Actually, wait a minute. I need blood. Badly. Yes, I really, really need blood. I should do that. I should definitely do that. Before going going somewhere where I'm almost certainly not going to be able to get blood. Alright, who can I feed on? I could just go to the asylum. That'd probably be the easiest. There's two people there I could seduce. Let's go do that. Let's go to the asylum. Let's hope Jeanette isn't going to shoot me for coming back in. Let me save just in case she does want to shoot me. Please don't shoot me, Jeanette. I'm sorry. I missed you. Did you miss me? Mm-hmm. Terribly. Let me show you how sorry I am. Alright, let's go visit our other... Our other friend. Hey, you! Mommy's here to get a little more sugar. <laughs> Wanna come play with me? Yes. Mm. There we go. Back up to full. Let's have a little dance. Woohoo! In my new outfit. Yeah, what do you guys think of it? Pretty cool, huh? Okay, bye. Man, I'm too cool for this place now. This place is lame. I just saw a teleporting person right in front of me. I'm just going to pretend I didn't see that.
Okay, now it's time to go.